All right, hello, welcome back to my uh, Minecraft tutorial series. I, uh, when last we left, I was in a dark, dark place. <laughs> Not literally, of course, but figuratively. And so I haven't jumped the time ahead any. I'm still um, in a dark place, so I'm going to just dig through somewhere here. Hopefully I'm facing the right way. Oh, I see a bit of light. And so... Basically what happens when you quit the game, the game stops and doesn't keep going, at least on a local copy, uh, such as what I'm playing when you're playing by yourself. And uh, the only way uh, that I'm aware of anyways, that you can sort of jump time ahead in any serious way, is to sleep. And in order to sleep, which is kind of handy because it's kind of not a lot of fun to play at night, because you never know when a monster might come out. In order to sleep, you need to have a bed. And in order to make a bed, you need some items. So there's a monster, a zombie coming across the way there. So maybe I'll lose him. We'll see. Uh, but in order to make a bed... No, he's coming along for the ride here. Uh, could be a long night of just running away from a zombie. And there's a skeleton. So maybe what you'll get to see in this episode is how somebody dies. And there's another zombie. There's a spider. Yeah, this is just a good example of all the different ways you can die. Oh, and there's... So those guys, I forget what they're called, creepers? Somebody tell me. Um, basically what they do... Yeah, look at all the bad guys after me. This is a good example of <laughs> how best not to survive your first night in Minecraft. Basically those guys, the creepers... Uh, that are three units tall will just kind of once they get close to you and as long as they're close to you for within a certain range for about three seconds they will then explode and just try and blow you up basically so that's why i lost a bunch of life there and uh but i was able to get far enough away that he didn't completely kill me so this could be a long night of just running those in the water there, octopus, fish, I don't know what they're, there's, I'm sure there's some official name. And uh, they don't do anything. They don't try and kill you, I don't think. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I guess I'll find out. Oh, there's just bad guys glower. So as I'm swimming, by the way, in order to swim, you can go underwater. But uh, you use a space bar to jump. Um, oh, there's a zombie coming after me in the water. Apparently zombies like to swim. Hello there. I'm just going to keep running away for now, and we'll just talk as we run. So as you can see, it would definitely help to have a place to sleep, and a safe place to... Oh, there's some cows. Cows, sheep, horses. Oh man, there's just a whole bunch of bad guys here. What I was going to say is... You can... Whoa, there's a bad guy. Probably shouldn't double back on myself. Yeah, this is not going to end well for anybody. Skeletons and spiders all over the place. And there we go. So that's what happens when you die. As you can hear, the bad guys keep coming around, chomping on your body. You lose all your items that you have. They drop on the ground wherever you die. And then... As long as you can get back to that spot within the next, I think it's about five minutes or so, you can pick all those things up. So the, in this case, it wasn't that big a deal. I dropped a few bricks, uh, or dirt, sorry, and um, what else did I have? Some seeds. You also lose whatever experience you gained. So each time you uh, kill things or achieve certain things, you'll get an experience score. So since the anim monsters are all far away, let's just... Get ourselves some wool. So this isn't a very humane way to get wool. Look away if you're a big sheep fan. But basically by using the left mouse button and punching, in this case, these poor sheep, gets me wool. And wool is one of the components I need in order to make a bed. 
Now, if I was properly equipped with some shears, which we'll cover making in a little while, you can actually just nicely cut the wool off the sheep. Uh, there's another bad guy. Where's the sun when you need it? But yeah, you can pull the wool off the sheep. Okay, so here's a creeper. See if I get close to him, you can hear him. Yeah, there you go. Blow up, blew up a big hole. What's nice about that is, oh, and there's somebody else. Yeah, two, two of them. What was I saying? Oh yeah, what's nice about those guys is if you're able to, you can go back and collect a whole bunch of stuff. Easy, quick and easy way to get some dirt and some sand in this case. Sand can be used. Oh, and there's skeletons. Skeletons shoot bow and arrow at you. They're pretty easy if you to kill if you've got a sword, but uh, I really don't want to die again. I got I didn't want to kill those sheep for nothing. Hopefully the sun will come up soon. So sheep come in different colors, as you can see, which does has zero bearing on your bed color, bed sheets. You don't get to have different colors of sheets for your bed, but you can make other things. Oh, more creepers. So you can just kind of get close enough and then let them blow themselves up. Sometimes you might find some interesting things. Gunpowder. Interesting. So what I didn't maybe explain, and I've sort of made clear on my YouTube channel, ah, good, the sun's coming up, so all those guys are going to burn up, is that uh, what I haven't made clear is that my son and I have been playing on the Xbox 360, and what's different about the Xbox 360 than, here we go, come on, son, let's watch this guy burn, just as, because his brother or somebody was the one who probably got me. Um... What's different on the Xbox 360 version is that you don't have to craft or know the, to how to lay out the items when you're crafting something. So we'll get to crafting in a second. And, but on the Xbox, it just you just have to have the items in your inventory, and it'll just know it'll put them together properly for you. In the real game, or if you want to call the computer version the real game, you have to know how to properly lay things out. So you're gonna watch me fumble along a bit when I try and build things because I don't always know. Can I stand behind a cow? Are you gonna... Oh, there you go. Oh, shoot. And you got that fire. There we go. Okay. We're so dirty this time. Give him a little punch. Oh, no, he's done. So as you can see, I'm burning. Doesn't stick around very long when you're. There we go. So that little ding you heard was uh, me getting some experience, and there's a little bar along the just underneath my health that reflects the experience. And when that gets full, it will you'll go up a level, and you can use experience later on in the game to trade for uh, enchanting things. I haven't really got that far too much in uh, on the Xbox version either, but... <laughs> Ideally, what you'd like to do, and I didn't really do the first night I played here, in this game anyways, is find some trees, because trees give you wood, which is how you can generate or build, craft, lots of the items you'll need in the game. So I'm in a pretty... Uh, wide open space, but since I haven't laid down any roots, I'm just going to make sure the volume is down a little lower. I know it's listening back to the other one, it's the other video, it's a little bit high. So I'm getting low on food, and here's some trees. Let's chop down some trees. So you got achievement, getting wood, which gives you some more experience. So the trees generate leaves. This is a, is a uh, if I look in my inventory. How do I look in my inventory on the computer? Let's go to the controls. Attack, jump, drop, chat, pick up a block, command, inventory is E. There you go. Back to the game. 
E. So there you see, I got oak wood. So you have a little crafting window here. Let's get out of the trees for a second. You have a crafting window by pressing E that when you see your inventory. And this is what I was meaning. So if I put some blocks here, it puts if I left click, it puts all five blocks. If I hold shift, sorry, if I hold shift when it's down here, it'll throw them in my backpack. If I right click, it drops one. One block down. Pick them all up by dropping them in here. Missing. So you can out of oh that's what, yeah, I'm forgetting. See this is where <laughs> the Xbox version is makes things too easy, I think. So I can make wood planks out of that, and then four wood planks. There we go. Makes a crafting table, which is another achievement you get. So. A crafting table allows you to build a whole bunch more stuff. So let's see. I need to find a place to make a home. Every Minecrafter needs a home. It's kind of dark in here, but. And scary noises. But. Uh, Maybe I could use this as a temporary abode for a while. I'll have to do a bit of... So, let's throw down our... I'm going to press... Uh, what is it? Six is the crafting table. Press uh, right-click to drop it. So now I open this up. I press right-click to use it. You can see it's got more spots to do stuff in. Um, one thing I'll need to make is some sticks. So, two, oak, two planks allows you to make four sticks. And from a stick, with a stick, uh, oops, so if I left click, I grab half. Sorry, right click, I grab half. Left click, I grab all of them. And then a wood plank at the top, that gives me a shovel. Shovel's good for digging, right? Now I'm gonna make a hoe. Hoe is good for gardening. Now I need to make some more sticks. Oops, dropped them all. I'll maybe do two sets. There I got eight sticks. Okay. So what else can we make here? I forget. This is where I... An axe is what I'm after. Usually they're... Yeah, there we go. It's kind of like roughly in the shape of what you might need. Since I might... And then the last thing I want is a pickaxe, which is great for carving up stone, which is where I am right now. There's a lot of stone around me. Stone is, or cobblestone, I guess. So you can see, by using the proper tool, it goes pretty quick. Oh, shoot. I, don't, I really don't want to start exploring too far here. Um, now my inventory is full of stuff, and so I'm going to move some things. My quick access inventory, anyways, is full of stuff. I move some of these things into my backpack, as it were. Move them around here by left-clicking, dragging them around. It gives me quick access to the tools I might need. So, as you can see, if I just didn't use a tool at all and tried to chop down, chop up this cobblestone, it's going to take quite a while. Switch over to my wooden pickaxe and bingo, you're done pretty quick. So, one extra thing I see is that so I'm just going to grab some cobblestone so I can make this is coal. Coal is handy for making and burning things, but primarily right now of interest to me is for making torches. Torches help you to light your way in the night. night. So, let's see, what can I do here? Make this a little nicer. Uh, I'll use some dirt for now. The reason why, besides aesthetics and looks, that you might not want to use dirt always for a home is that Dirt is more easily uh, broken up by monsters. and So what I'm doing is sort of closing myself in a bit from being seen by uh, monsters and things out there until I'm able to build a proper house. I can just use dirt, put in a, put in 
a, a wall or make myself a fake door kind of thing just temporarily so that monsters can't get at me. Whoops. And there I'm out of dirt. So now I'm going to use my shovel and get myself some more quick building supplies. Oh, I'm up on top of a hill. So you can see, obviously, dirt is pretty easy to grab. Coming up on 15 minutes here of recording, so I'll stop soon. Seems to go by pretty quick. Let me know in the comments if it's uh, you'd like it just to go longer each video. I don't know, 15 minutes seems like about the right length of time. Uh, but I'll be happily happy to go a little longer too if you think you can handle it. <laughs> Let's just close it in in the interest of making things quick and easy. This is a very claustrophobic. Hopefully you're not <laughs> too claustrophobic, like I can get sometimes. The tools as you use them will wear down, so they'll gradually become less and less. You can see this, this sort of strength bar at the bottom. So I'm going to go back to my crafting table here, see if I can figure out. I think it's... Yeah, there we go. So that gives me some torches. I'm going to make some more. Always want to have lots and lots of torches on hand. What you can do with a torch now is just right click and pop it on the wall. Find out pretty quickly where your holes are in your nice little structure here. This is not at all a nice structure. It's quite ugly actually. Quite boring, but it's safe. That is the main thing. So here's what I can do is I can close myself in and be safe from any monsters attack me. And that's maybe a good spot to end because I'm running out of time for right now, both in terms of how long I want the video to be and in real world time. So um, I'll just go like this. And this is where we'll leave it in our nice little hole in the mountain. All right, in the meantime, where are, let's go quickly to the controls. You could change your view. Sneak, left shift, chat, jump. Huh. I'll look it up, I can't remember now. At the end of each game, I'm just saving and quitting to title so that it doesn't, it stops the game right where I left it. Time doesn't move, and that's all it is. Well, thanks for watching. This has been episode three of my Minecraft tutorial video series. If you like more or want me to continue and want to be notified of it, you can hit the subscribe button at the top of my channel. And any thumbs up, comments, questions, suggestions are much appreciated in the comments below. And uh, in the meantime, have a great day.